Namaste, this is Apna Pradeshi, your wellness coach, guide and friend. So welcome back to the series of Eye Care. In my previous video, I have given many tips to the children as well as parents, how to take care of the eyesight. I have shown many power yoga exercises which children should practice regularly. I have given many tips to the children as well as parents, a lot of precautions which children should take during the online classes. So today I am going to tell you what should your children eat to enhance their eyesight. At the same time, what are the natural ways to relax the eyes and improve the eyesight. Alright, so let us begin. See, to start with drink, you must give ABC juice to your children every day. See, ABC juice I have been speaking in many videos of mine. Because it has apple, beetroot and carrot and carrot has the property which helps you to enhance your eyesight tremendously. This is very good for the eyesight. So make ABC juice and give to your children. You can see one video of mine which is I'm sure you must have seen also how to boost the immunity level of your children. So there I have told about this ABC juice in detail. Drink right amount of water. See, 1 liter of water is needed for every 20 kg of body weight. Drink aloe vera juice regularly. Drink herbal drink. Eat amla in any ways. Like murabba is available in the market. That is very sweet. Children love to eat that. So give that. That is also very beneficial for the eyesight. Now, a few do's or don'ts let me talk about. Please do not skip meals or do not keep irregular hours. Do not eat junk food because junk food has a lot of chemicals in it, a lot of preservatives, coloring agents which is very harmful to the health. Such foods are very high on linoleic acid and unsaturated fats which have negative effects on the eyesight. Eat a healthy and balanced diet. Give a lot of spinach to children because that is also very helpful for the eyesight. Now, consumption of vegetables like carrots with high vitamin A, almonds, greens and naturally colorful fruits make the eyes very healthy. We know this. I'm sure all the parents know this. But we do not practice this in our daily lifestyle. At the same time, green chili is very good for the eyes. So, elders can eat that. Okay. Now, let me talk about the natural ways to relax your eyes. See, natural packs are there that can work amazingly for your eyes. Even for your children's eyes, you must do that for your children. Let me tell you a few packs which you can use at home. To start with, cucumber. You know, what you should do is cut two slices of cucumber, should be cold, remember that, and place them on your eyes for about 10 to 15 minutes. That will help relaxing your eyes. See, the more you relax your eyes, the better eyesight you will gain. It will help you avoid the uh, unattractive darkness under your eyes. It is also very much helpful to de-stress and relax your eyes. Now, second type of pack is what you can do is normally just take very cold water, ice water kind of a thing. Take wet cotton balls, just dip them and place them on your eyes. You know, children love that chilled water kind of a thing. So place them for about 5 minutes. Children cannot bear more than 5 minutes. So for children, I recommend do these packs only for 5 minutes. Elders can go for 10 to 20 minutes also. So do that. Another thing, gel pack. See, gel pack, why I am recommending gel pack? You can make aloe vera gel is there at home. So just freeze it, you know, uh, so that it becomes a little thick. And then you can apply then on your eyelids with the help of a cotton or something or maybe uh, just directly but make sure it doesn't go to your eyes so use that other than that you can also do just to make children happy 
my suggestion is if you have some sort of a jelly at home make jelly jelly is available so make jelly and make you can use this uh, ziploc covers which are available put that inside and freeze it it becomes very thick and just ziploc will be completely closed give two small to your children it will be colorful also it's not harmful in that case because it is already inside and place them on the eyelids children will love them right so do this ice pack of course you can do other than that mud pack now mud pack multani mitti which we say is very very good again you can make the pack with this right this is for elders i'm suggesting you know elder children can also do that make a pack with this and again put some rose essence because it the smell will be very good you can freeze it you can put this also into the uh, ziploc whatever and then place that on your eyelids for 5 minutes elders again 10 to 15 minutes then one more small thing when the children are very small you know here i would recommend the plastic spoon the small plastic spoon which is with very good quality put that in the freezer let it get cold and give to your children and put them on their eyelids colorful spoon chill spoons they love it put it for 3 to 4 minutes or 5 minutes for small children and take it off right so this will also help enhancing and relaxing the eyes they help prevent water retention in the eyes removing traces and swellings which you have the puffiness under your eyes so keep doing this relaxation with the eye packs regularly a few more things i would suggest let us take aloe vera juice what you should do is mix some chilled aloe vera juice with the water and then dip cotton balls in it place them on your eyelids this will give relief from eye strains do it for 10 to 15 minutes then rose water that is very good you know if you have pure rose water you can directly pour into the eyes also that will help you so again here also you can dip cotton balls in the rose water and place them on the eyes it can relieve the burning sensation instantly that occurs when you have sore eyes at the same time remember great eye wash occurs when we cry tears have the property of lubricating nourishing and protecting the eyes they clear any dust or dirt particles in the eyes helping to improve the vision but please don't find reasons to cry okay okay i'll give you one small thing here do you remember when we were children we used to squeeze orange peels into each other's eyes like this you know and we used to say no but that instantly used to bring tears in our eyes so what you can do is orange peel squeeze orange peel into your eyes time to time it will bring natural tears instantly and help clean your eyes this can be a game for children too let us talk about natural ayurvedic eye care tips when you wake up early in the morning after sleeping fill your mouth with water completely it should be so much of water should go inside so that you are you are completely blowing like this okay and then at the same time you should splash some cold water over your eyes right like this do this 5 to 10 times this will relax and stimulate the eyes trust me it will take care of your eyes in a very good way secondly use some ayurvedic detoxins such as trifla and yasti madhu for eye wash to help improve your vision see yasti madhu is available in the market also apart from this apply some medicated kajal on the eyes this helps to moisten them and prevent dryness see remember our mothers or grandmothers they always used to put kajal into our eyes every day in the night see again this is our ancestors 
gift which we have completely thrown away. We can make kajal at home also. You can take almonds and burn them. The blackish will be there of the almond on a spoon or on a bowl and after that put some ghee into it right and apply that kajal that is very good for the eyesight use some eye drops regularly for moisturizing your eyes i would strongly recommend using this eye drop which is recommended by baba ramdev please mix white onion ginger and lemon one spoon each with three spoons of honey mix it you can store it for three to four months also use one or two drops daily in the eyes now let us listen to a well-known ayurvedic doctor dr dharmesh what he says about the eyesight care hey i am dr dharmesh today i am going to talk about uh, important thing about eye the children's issues and elders issue working class issues so these days people are in this covid time many children are attend long session of uh, online classes they get eye strings and uh, many people works for the company from work to work from home uh they get a lot of strain in the eyes and burning sensation stiffness we have a lot of issues in eyes due to this we have simple remedies in ayurvedic medicine to follow first we go through the anatomy of the eye there are so many structures but important thing is eyes muscle attachments there are six main muscles superior rectus inferior rectus medial rectus lateral rectus superior oblique inferior oblique these muscle functions are when a light passes through the eye these muscle make the eyeball to a position to accommodate the light to get the clear image regularly we are exposed to the computers or any tv screens etc these eye get strain if you go like before sleeping if you see this uh, any kind of gadgets these muscles will get strained what the simple remedies are to relax the eye take a black cloth just wrap it around the eyes firmly not tight or not loose just relax and then feel the breathing instantly you will get relaxation of the muscles and another traditional thing is lepa ointment how to make this ointment boil the ghee make it self cool you will get the sediment on the upper side after just take the upper side out and that paste you can use it as a lepa also there are so many yogic simple eye exercises you can follow okay when you apply this lepa you can apply inside and then you can apply outside of the rim also you can apply all over this will relieve the burning sensation dryness and with this wearing the cloth around eye and lepa gives very good relief thank you so much now finally i would like to talk about some do's and don'ts to all the children and as well as parents don't stay awake till late night two sleep soundly it is very effective in resting your tired eyes three don't expose your eyes too much to bright light sunlight directly four don't be on the electronic devices for a longer time five 
Take a break from the laptop or television every 30 minutes. Look away and blink several times. Right? Six, wear UV protective sunshades to protect your eyes from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays if you are going out and exposed directly into the sun. Seven, don't read in the dark environment. Darkening the room to get the cinema effect is not advisable as it strains and tires your eyes. Eight, do eye exercises every day as I have already recommended and your teachers also must be telling you that. Nine, children should not apply perfume onto their body as they are chemical based and harmful to their eyesight. Ten, make sure that the area where you are reading or watching is well lit. Eleven, don't read in the lying position. It strains your eyes like anything as children normally keep doing that. Stop them. Twelve. Avoid using small fonts while reading. Reading larger fonts prevents your eyes from getting strained. So parents and children, see we listen to a lot many things, we watch many videos, but how many of us really bring that into our practice? So my humble request to all the parents, please start doing this immediately to give a wonderful future to your children. Let them not have any problems in their eyesight. We can really do that. Well, finally, I would like to tell you one very important thing that is if your child falls sick, like fever or anything in general, then let him not use any gadget, any technical device that will harm his eyes badly. So parents, please share this video with all the all other parents. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and press the bell icon so that you get all my upcoming videos timely. Namaste and be blessed by the Divine Power.